Yeah. And they showed up on set like really hungover and still drunk. <laughs> Oh, nice. So that whole scene there, they're they're still pretty uh pretty much in the bag. <laughs> so it probably worked really well then. Yeah. <laughs> and Harrison Ford, when Princess Leia says, "I love you," he says, "I know." That that wasn't part of the original script. He just threw it in, and they said, "No, that sounds amazing, so we're going to keep it." <laughs> yeah, he's done that before, hasn't he? I think yeah. He did it in uh, Rick, did. Indiana Jones. Uh, the the scene uh, that it was, I think it was a Temple of Doom when they're in the in the market. And uh, he's standing at one end, and there's the other guy at one end playing with a sword, and he just pulls his gun out and shoots him. Because he got bored, didn't he? Yeah. And pretty much that scene, again, was, was, it was an improv with him doing that. He was just really was not feeling well. He was, like, really sick and didn't have a lot of energy. So he's like, screw it, I'm not going to use a whip. I'm just going to pull a gun out and shoot him. And they kept it. So. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, that's one of the best scenes, though, isn't it? Oh, Makes yeah. The, you need that, really, because the humor is cool you know about all of those things, and so. uh speaking of lando's deal listen to this leia and the wookiee must, must never, never again, again leave this city it was never a condition of our arrangement nor was giving han to this bounty hunter i have altered the deal pray i don't alter it any further this deal's getting worse all the time furthermore i wish you to wear this dress and bonnet this was never a condition of our arrangement. i have altered the deal pray i don't alter it any further and this deal's getting worse worse all the time here is a unicycle you will ride it wherever you go what i'm not riding the f***ing unicycle i have altered the deal pray i don't alter it any further this deal is getting worse all the time also you are to wear these clown shoes and refer to yourself as mary oh f*** you man i'm not doing it i have altered the deal pray i don't alter it any further this deal it's very fair, and I'm happy to be a part of it. <laughs> you wear this bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> so that that is from uh, an episode of Robot Chicken, which is like a kind of DIY kind of clima- claymation show, which is pretty funny. But that really was uh, Billy D. Williams doing doing Lando's right. voice. So it was an actual guy. That was fantastic. I'll have to hear that again. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to send it to me. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to get to our first song here. It's by a band that we talking to this Saturday on NMS. It's a band called the Sylvia Platters. This is off their new album coming out Friday. And the song is called Girl with Curious Hair. Dig this. Sylvia Platter's Girl with Curious Hair. Now, uh, I heard the song first time uh, on, on uh, this last Saturday, sorry, on NMS, 
and I really enjoy it. Like I played a song by them before in the past, and they have an album coming out Friday, and I just really enjoy it because they're almost like, <clears throat> uh, like, uh, like almost like a softer version of Weezer, and uh, mixed with kind of the sixties and seventies, uh, like, like I think I mentioned before, like the Turtles and that sort of thing. And so I really like it. Yeah, I, I liked the, well, you could hear it, couldn't you, with the tambourine, you know, and everything. And, I mean, it's, I, I can tell they're probably going to be quite wacky, are they, with the title like that? Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Girls, yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah, but no, I, yeah, I enjoyed it. I liked the instrumental bit, and there was some nice harmonies as well going on. So, yeah, it's cool. I'll, I'll, hopefully, I can listen in on Saturday yeah. to your interview, which would be nice. Yeah. To That'll be, uh, unfortunately, it'll be the second part, so it'll be at... Uh, three in the morning, your time. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I don't sleep very well, but I'll see. Yeah, well, if I'm, if I'm insomnian, I will listen in. I'll tune in, so no problem. See, you, you, you okay, um, Go ahead. Hey, go on. I was going to hey, say, go on, you, you, wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, okay, you what first, you go. Say, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey. What I was gonna say now, you say it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was trying to be deep cutting me off, so you know. <laughs> All I was gonna say is, you say, "Oh, I never sleep well. I don't sleep well. I don't sleep sleep well." But yet, when NMS is on, half the time, like <laughs> you're you're, you're, you're sleeping or, or or nowhere to be found. <laughs> Well, no, but you're, you're lethal, you are, because if you know I'm up, it's like, come on on. Yeah, I know, true. <laughs> and it's just like, whoa, it's psychedelic time, <laughs> trippy. <laughs> <laughs> so what are, your, what are your thoughts? Did you play with Lego as a child? Yes. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you had Lego at the end of that sentence. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm always forgetting to do that, what you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Yes, I played a lot with Lego, and I, I have I haven't in a long time. But yeah, I know I used to make just to get the the box, so you make like the planes and different stuff, and just kind of have fun and make stuff that doesn't have and doesn't make any sense at all, but was fun anyways. I would. Okay, so they're sort of saying that there's there's like um, a shortage <laughs> of Lego that the co the company never expected it to go, and they just can't meet orders apparently this Christmas. Um, I mean, I, I've noticed on eBay there's quite a big sort of, you know, there's a lot of people selling stuff, but I don't know how true that is. Have you heard anything I, in I've, Canada or anything? I, I've heard absolutely nothing, but that's maybe because I don't listen to the radio at all, so I'm not sure they take them by the radio, and I haven't really seen anything on TV at all or heard anybody talking about it. So it's, it's definitely possible, but I, I haven't heard anything. <laughs> Oh. Um, did you know that it was more than fifty years old? That I did know, yes. And oh, then, okay. and then there's also there's also what Lego Land in California. This what? A place called Lego Land in California. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't been to. We've got one here as well, but Do you really? it's supposed to be expensive to <laughs> go, and you know, it's, yeah, I don't uh, know. But they they actually hire people, don't they, to come and build all the different towers and structures and things like that which is amazing those are amazing yeah oh to yeah see. well because they're, they're, they're life-size pieces too they're not the tiny little ones right yeah i wonder how long that takes oh i couldn't even imagine i but no i don't think i'd have, I'd have the patience for it <laughs> well well no i mean <clears throat> i can remember building little villages and things like that mm. and you know you were made up if you had a little figure but I think the figures go for quite a lot of money, don't they? Yeah. Individually, I think that's what people tend to collect, don't yeah. they? Collectors and things. Yeah. So then, then there's of the course the times when you step on the piece, it's like ah, son of a ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and regrets everything. Yeah, yeah. I know it's worse than stopping your toes. Isn't it? Oh yeah, it's, a little, it's, a, it's, it's not sharp; it's just really small and hard, and it's like right at the bottom of your foot. It's like ah, oh. then. <laughs> Then of course you want to smash the thing you just built because you <laughs> that could be a vicious cycle. <laughs> so when you celebrate Thanksgiving, what what do you do? You normally get together with your family. Do you are you able to do that? Because I know your family is sort of further away, isn't it? Well, for the most part, I mean it's it's only a two hour drive, and 
you know, usually like it's Thanksgiving's on a Monday here, so we'll do it the Sunday evening. Oh, right, okay. So, but I mean, it's the big deal, but it's not. You know, it's just, like I said, just one of those things that like, like we celebrate it, but it's like, meh. <laughs> you know, it's... It's it's a it's a it's a holiday, and if you work the holiday, you get paid you get paid double time, or you get paid overtime. So, oh but well, yeah. It's, so, but it, so sometimes it's tempting, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it's like I said, it's 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 a big deal, but it's not nearly as huge as in U, as it is in the U.S. I don't know why, but eh, I know it doesn't bother me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what's our next track? Our next know? track is the newest one by No One's Son called Ghost. Ooh. Yeah, dig this. Yes. No One Son with Ghost. Uh, this is a great tune. I heard this uh, a few weeks ago on NMS, and it's one of it's 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 a favorite of mine just because this is, is a, a lot heavier than uh, than we've heard from No One Son in the past, and and I really dig how they, how they they produce the song, and it's got some um, some old like kind of grunge tinge to it as well. Like I really enjoyed it. I think um, the joy of No One Sun is they do produce their stuff pretty well. And the last um, kind of EP, Bogota was fan I'm saying it wrong, aren't I? No, it's Bogota. Bogota. 
But, <clears throat> okay, I thought I said it in a posh way. But no. <laughs> um, basically, all of their songs tend to kind of nick.